This is my iPhone 13, and although it may look pretty normal, it's actually a little bit different than most other devices. You may have already noticed there's five icons down in my dock, or there's no labels for any of my app icons, or my Wi-Fi and cellular icons up in the status bar. Well, that is because this iPhone 13 is jailbroken, which for those who don't know, essentially allows you to get more customization and usability out of your device and do things that Apple doesn't allow you to do essentially unlocking some hidden features on your phone. In this video, I will be doing a full guide on how you can jailbreak your iPhone running iOS 16 and take your phone from something that looks like this to something more like this. For this video, I'm actually not going to be using either of these two iPhone 13s. Instead, I'm going to be using this red iPhone 13 as a demonstration device. This is a new iPhone 13 that I got from my younger brother after I fixed up an iPhone 15 to give to him. This iPhone 13 is still running iOS 16.2. I haven't really done anything with it since I got it. I did end up already jailbreaking it, messed around with it a bit, but then ended up resetting it so that I could make a video about it. And here we are. This is a relatively beginner friendly guide, although you do need to know how to use a computer. Other than that, you should be all good. Now, before we get started with this guide, let's go ahead and go over the requirements. The most important requirement, you absolutely cannot get past this. You need a compatible device. Devices that are compatible with this guide are the iPhone 8 through the iPhone 14 Pro. Your device needs to be running a version between iOS 16.0 and iOS 16.5.1. If it's an iPhone 13 or newer, like this one, it needs to be running iOS 16.5. iOS 16.5.1 will not work. Now this guide will also work on iOS 15, but for this, it's mainly just targeted towards iOS 16. If you're on iOS 15, feel free to follow this as it most likely will work for you as well. Aside from the device you want to jailbreak, of course, you're also going to need a Windows or Mac computer. For this tutorial, I'll be using Mac, but Windows works just as well. There are two things that you will need to download to your computer. I will leave a link down in the description to both. You will need first to install a program called Sideloadly. This program will allow you to install applications from a file on your Mac onto your iPhone. The application I'm talking about is called Troll Installer X. It's an app that installs Troll Store, which is this little app right here, which essentially allows you to install any applications you want from a file directly on your iPhone without it becoming unsigned, meaning it'll stay on the phone forever. Unlike when you, unlike when you install from a computer, it will become unsigned within a week and you won't be able to use the app anymore. The link to the Troll Installer X file will also be down in the description. And now it's time for me to go ahead and get my computer out. All right, now that I've got my Mac out, I'll go ahead and connect up the iPhone 13 with a USB cable. I'll go ahead and trust it, put in my code. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up Sideloadly. Ideally, by now you should have everything downloaded on your computer. As you can see, it goes ahead and already detects the device because I've already trusted it. Now on my desktop here, I have the Troll Installer X IPA file. This is the application to be installed on the iPhone 13. So we'll go ahead and drag that up to the IPA spot. Now for you, you'll have to go ahead and put in your information, your Apple ID and password. This is just an example Apple ID I have for this, although I've already done this in the past. Okay, so I've just come to the realization while editing that I didn't really talk about the security of Sideloadly. So with Sideloadly, when you put in your Apple ID, this is only sent to Apple's servers and uses their own servers and their own authentication methods to sign the application that you are putting onto your device. Your Apple ID and password is not read by Sideloadly. It is not sent to them and they have no way of seeing it. So I can go ahead and click start. You can see we get a message to edit the home screen. We'll go ahead and dismiss. And here on my home screen, we have Troll Installer X. It's gonna go ahead and prompt untrusted developer. So we need to go ahead and go into settings, general, VPN and device management, click on your Apple ID, click on trust and trust again. Now, if you try to immediately open this app, it's gonna go ahead and tell you you need developer mode enabled. So we'll go ahead and go back into settings, scroll down until you find privacy and security. Scroll down to the bottom, click on developer mode, toggle it on and go ahead and click on restart. And now we'll wait just a moment for the iPhone to reboot. Now that the iPhone has restarted, I'll go ahead and click on turn on, put in my passcode one more time. And now we're able to go ahead and open up the Troll Installer X application. And as of now, we no longer need the Mac. I can go ahead and get rid of this. Now on the iPhone, it's pretty self-explanatory. This app actually works for iOS 14.0 through 16.6.1. We'll go ahead and click on install Troll Store. And now you get to click the application that you want to use as the persistence helper. Essentially what this means is an application that will always stay installed on your phone that you're able to open up if Troll Store is not working and click on a button that can fix Troll Store, reinstall it, uninstall it, etc. I would recommend using the Tips app if you have it installed on your phone. 
So I'll use that. It says we've successfully installed Troll Store. If I go to the home screen, as you can see, that was correct. We do have Troll Store installed. And now it's time to actually get onto installing the jailbreak. Now, the first step in this is to go to Safari and just go ahead and search for dopamine jailbreak. Click on the lkit.space result. And then if you use the magnifier as your persistence helper, then you can click on open control store. But for me, that doesn't work. It just opens the magnifier. So instead I'll click on download.ipa, download, downloads, click on dopamine, and then we'll go ahead and click on troll store. This warns this app runs unsandbox, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, it's gonna be jailbreaking the phone. We'll go ahead and click on install. Just like that, we have dopamine on our phone. Open the app up. And just this quickly, it's already time to go ahead and click on jailbreak. Before we continue, I do want to go ahead and tell you by following this guide, I am not liable for any damages you cause to your device. This theoretically should not cause any issues. Really, the only thing I can think of is data loss, having to update or restore your phone. This is at your own risk. I'm not responsible. But at the same time, in my opinion, you don't need to be very worried about this. For me, I would recommend using Silio as your package manager. It's a lot more intuitive and just easier to use. Now, sometimes, the kernel exploit may fail and it'll just hang here on this exploiting kernel screen. If it does that, just go ahead and restart your phone and try the whole process again. All right, let's try that one more time. Click on jailbreak. As you can see, it's actually working this time. It used my preference of package manager from the last time I tried. Now it's going to ask you to set a root password. Now there used to be a default for this. This was Alpine, all lowercase. That's what I usually just set mine to anyway, as that's what I'm used to using. I used to use that password a lot as I used to work with older devices that had it as the default, but I would recommend setting your own password for here. Then go ahead and click on set. Your phone will go ahead and reboot, wipe up to unlock. And as you can see on my home screen is Silio. Silio is the package manager that essentially means your phone is jailbroken. From Silio, you can install all sorts of tweaks that allow you to customize your phone, similar to how I've done on this iPhone 13 right here. I've got five icons in the dock, a clean home screen without any app labels, full OLED dark mode for apps with completely black backgrounds, those custom icons at the top, etc., etc. Essentially, at this point, your iPhone is now jailbroken. Every time you restart your phone, you will notice that the tweaks that you have installed will completely disable themselves. Your phone will go back to a completely stock state and Silio will not open. It will crash every time you try to open it. Dopamine, however, will open. All you need to do is open it up, click on jailbreak once again, and then all your tweaks should load up and you'll be able to manage them through Silio. You will need to do this every single time your phone restarts, whether the battery dies or you restart it yourself. Otherwise, the jailbreak just won't load on its own. So that's it. Now you have a jailbroken iPhone, but this isn't the end of the guide. I'm now gonna go off camera and get this iPhone set up the way I like it, similar to how I've done on this iPhone 13, but not the exact same. And then I'll get back with some of my recommended tweaks, themes, and must-haves to go ahead and start you off. 80 minutes later. All right, it's now been just about an hour, and here's where we're at. As you can tell, there is a pretty big difference with how we started. First off, of course, I changed the wallpaper and the home screen layout a little bit. I changed the home screen layout to match pretty much what I do on all my other phones, which is the old stock layout. I got so used to it that I basically just stuck with it. Now, as you can see, I've installed a dark mode theme. This is a theme called Solstice. Unfortunately, it does cost $3 on Silio, but I would say it's worth it. It's comparable to the iOS 18 dark mode icons, except you can use it on older iOS versions. The icons look really clean and they're professionally made and it supports the developer. Some other tweaks I've got installed. First off is settings revamp, a tweak that allows me to reorganize my settings menu and change some things such as showing the storage, battery health and Wi-Fi local IP address. Y'all can't do anything with that in my settings, along with organizing tweaks, system apps and app store apps in the categories at the top. Under tweaks, Atria is one of my favorite tweaks for home screen customization. I used to use it to do some pretty elaborate stuff, but I've kind of gotten to the point where I like to use a basic setup these days. Essentially, Atria allows you to change just about anything you want about the icons on your home screen. Let's do home screen pages first. I guess we could change the icon scale if I wanted. Let's make them really small change how many rows there are. Just for a little example, one of my favorite features in this tweak is the welcome message. This is essentially just a little banner at the top of your home screen. People usually just have customized to their name. It has an icon of the current weather next to it as well. I used to use this with a lot of my jailbreak setups, but I don't as often anymore as I've changed the home screen layout that I used to use, which went a lot better with it. Next up, we've got Boulders Reborn. This is another one of my favorite tweaks. This one completely redesigns the iOS folder menu and makes it look a lot cleaner and honestly, a design that I could see Apple adapting. It gets rid of the folder background and makes it completely full screen, making the text larger at the top with an application count. 
I think it makes the folders look a lot nicer and it's just a nice little touch to your phone. CC music artwork. This one is essentially just a tweak that shows album artwork on the music player in the control center. That's about it. It really doesn't do anything else. Pods grant is a tweak that allows me to use AirPods Pro second generation or newer on older iOS versions like iOS 16 that do not recognize them as AirPods. Instead, they recognize as a generic Bluetooth device. This tweak makes sure that they are recognized as a pair of AirPods Pro. They aren't recognized as a pair of second gen Pros, but they're recognized as regular AirPod Pros and have more functionality. Settings revamp, I already went over that. Snowboard is a tweak that allows you to install and enable themes for your home screen app icons, status bar icons, and more. As you can see in here, I have Solstice enabled for my home screen icons and a tweak called Linear Next for my status bar. Linear is a tweak that has a couple different options. You have Linear Next, Linear, or Linear Neo. It just changes the icons up in your status bar. I have Linear Neo turned on on my other iPhone 13. I think it's a nice little touch and takes away the little stock icon, just adding something with a little bit of a different vibe to it. So this is a pretty basic setup, but it's just a couple of basic tweaks showing the principles of what a jailbreak really is. And in my opinion, I think it's better to go this route instead of doing a super complicated jailbreak setup that almost makes it not look like an iPhone anymore. I think it's a little bit excessive what some people like to do. And I think keeping it basic just makes it a little bit more fun. You can really choose to do whatever you want. There's so many different tweaks available and more are still being developed for iOS 16, which is actually surprising to me. But this was just an example of a really basic setup. On my other iPhone 13, I have considerably more tweaks installed as I've been building up on this for like a year and a half. But even with this big of a difference and the length on the tweak list, at a glance, it's really not a huge difference. It doesn't take much to make it unique and take it away from the stock iOS feel. Anyways, this has been my basic guide for jailbreaking iOS 16 and a few of my recommended tweaks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that it helped you in jailbreaking your iOS 16 device. I've been needing to get around to jailbreaking this new iPhone 13 of mine, so I'm glad that I finally got around to doing it in this video. Anyways, first off, thank you guys so much for 11,000 subscribers. It means so much to me and it's just crazy to me how quick my channel is growing. But if you're new here, please consider subscribing as as of right now, only 9.5% of my audience has actually subscribed to my channel. So hitting that subscribe button would really mean a lot to me and it would help me reach my goal of 12,000 subscribers. And of course, last but not least, I cannot forget about membership shout outs. Huge shout out to these five members. I'll leave a link down in the description to all five of their channels. And if you weren't aware, I do have channel memberships. If you're interested, it's $2 a month. There's a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. And it just helps me to continue making videos like these. Now that my device, and hopefully yours as well, is jailbroken, go ahead and enjoy it. Install some tweaks, try some new ones, maybe watch some YouTube videos about tweak reviews, as that's kind of the best way to find them. But make your device truly yours and actually customize it the way that Apple refuses to let you. Anyways, enough yapping. Comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, peace out, guys.